2017 Best Cars, Mazda MX-5 Miata and Porsche 718 Boxster, Cayman. The Mazda MX-5 Miata and the Porsche 718 stand alone, together. Words like thermos, comma, aspirin, comma, and escalator, comma, once registered trademarks, became so universal that they re now legally generic terms, which is why we don't keep our coffee hot in vacuum flasks, comma, take acetyl salicylic acid to relieve headaches, or ride up moving staircases at the mall. Not great for Thermos LLC, Bayer AG, or the Otis Elevator Company, but perfectly convenient for the rest of us. Mazda built the millionth Miata in 2016, cementing its standing as the best-selling roadster of all time. It exemplifies the roadster ideal so perfectly and singularly that it's easy to imagine the word Miata becoming Xerox for roadsters or fun. Just in case, Mazda already holds a trademark for the word roadster comma as the test what the MX-5 Miata is called in its Japanese home market. Of course, there's little need these days for a generic term for a small and sporty convertible two-seater, since there aren't team any left. Mazda's only direct competitor is a new entry from Fiat, but the 124 Spider is a re-engined and retuned MX-5 built by Mazda. With its own sheet metal and a Fiat engine, the Miat left most editors at 10 best scratching their heads and wondering why you won't you just choose the original. Even in this vacuum, bereft of competition, the fourth generation Miata is better than ever. While many cars including several of this year's 10 best winners use modular platforms shared across many different models, Mazda continues to engineer a rear drive chassis specifically for the Miata. And what a chassis it is! The Miata's balance, poise, and eagerness are simply unmatched by anything that does and cost twice as much or more. For a small company whose full U.S. product line is otherwise front-drive based, this is an entirely irrational devotion to principle, one whose greatest benefits accrue to the Miata's enthusiastic buyers. The current Miata's footprint is remarkably similar to that of the original, and, despite the addition of modern safety equipment and infotainment technology, today's car weighs only around 100 pounds more than a 1990 Miata. Even in the more stiffly damped club version, Mazda tunes the chassis to allow for a fair amount of body roll, which enhances the sensation of load transfer and helps the car communicate its body motions and inertia to the driver. The shifter and clutch operate with impeccable fluidity and precision, and the electrically assisted steering rack, while perhaps not as lively as the previous car's hydraulic setup, is perfectly weighted and linear in its responses. The Miata S engine is its biggest concession to economies of scale, it is similar to the Skyactiv 4-cylinder in the Mazda 3, although oriented longitudinally. It sings a pleasant song and revs freely to its 6,800 revolution per minute redline, and while 155 horsepower 1T impress Ford Mustang and Chevy Camaro owners, it has enough to get the MX-5 to 60 miles per hour in under 6 seconds. Really the only way to achieve similar levels of driving pleasure is to look beyond the $50,000 barrier. There, you'll find the Porsche Boxster slash Cayman or the 718, as they recalled as of this year. The 718 distills a similarly pure spirit, particularly in roadster form, even as Porsche has stripped out its glorious flat-six engines in favor of turbocharged flat-fours. The Porsche costs more than twice as much as the Miata to start, a price that can be justified by its greater levels of performance and luxury. And also because of its badge, if that sort of thing matters to you. But Porsche's vicissitudinary pricing has caused recent Boxsters we've tested to approach six figures, far out of reach for many driving enthusiasts. The Miata, which began life as a reliable counterpart to cheap British sports cars, has now become a budget alternative to the entry-level Porsche. Evidence that Mazda is aware of this comes in a new Miata hardtop variant for 2017. Calling it the Miata Targa would have been an ideal descriptor, as its retractable roof operates almost identically to the newest Porsche 911 Targa S. But Porsche owns the Targa word in every sense, including legally and historically. Mazda adopted the acronym RF, meaning retractable fastback. The top S stance is mesmerizing and a crisp animated display in the RFS gauge cluster mirrors the movement in real time, lest the driver feel left out of the visual drama. While it is not a roadster, this new variant is in every way a Miata. 
it shares its mechanicals with the drop top, just as the Porsche 718 Cayman Coupe is a near twin of the 718 Boxster. The RF only weighs about 100 pounds more than the standard MX-5, and any dynamic differences between the two are insignificant. The RF's greatest asset is, well, its ass. The gently sloping roofline, the flying buttresses, and the rounded hips are nearly as gorgeous as the Cayman S lines and are far nicer to gaze upon than the bubble top of the previous generation Miata S retractable hardtop. No matter the shape, the greatness of the Miata represents a continuing dedication to the sports car ideal. That s a rare thing these days. Mazda, along with Porsche, somehow makes a business case for building pleasurable, desirable, and soulful vehicles, the Miata suffering not at all for its lack of competition. Both of these nameplates are winners, and both exist in a world of their own. It's a world we're glad to live in, to live in.